Hey guys, what's going on? Nintendokid91 here, and I have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay for you. We're actually playing Skyjacked, which is basically the reskin of Hijacked from Black Ops 2. I'm actually playing Uplink for once. Uh, it's very rare for me to play that, but uh, I wanted to bring you guys this gameplay with the CUDA on Uplink for two reasons. One, because, again, Uplink is something I never really play. Uh, I've never actually posted a game for it and then second of all because I actually ended up getting my wraps So I figured it'd be a nice clip to watch and it's a, a pretty quick game. Um, we put down full destruction on this team um, I know it's been a while since I've posted a black ops 3 video I've been playing it the past couple of days getting back into it after being on a hiatus from this game probably since December um, but I've gotten back into it so Leave a like rating if you guys want me to keep going with some Black Ops 3 videos. I mean, I can make them no problem at all. Whatever you guys want to see. Leave a comment uh, if you, there's specific video styles you want to see. Um, tips and tricks, certain game matches, certain weapons. Right now in the video, I'm using the CUDA with the stock and the quick draw attachment. Um, that's all I use really with this gun. I used stock on here because I wanted to see if they had buffed it at all. Because when the game first came out, it wasn't too powerful. I'm not really noticing a difference. Uh, SMGs, it always seems to work decently. But with assault rifles, stock is almost non-existent. And then quick draw is just so I can aim down the sight much faster, obviously. Uh, in terms of the perks, though, for this class, I'm just using flak jacket, fast hands, and then uh, gung ho for my third. And, you know, gung-ho has been a perk I've been kind of wanting to mess around with. Um, it allows you to hip-fire your weapon when you're sprinting, and using an SMG, I figured that'd be kind of helpful. So, I've been using it a lot, kind of testing it out, playing around with some different perk combinations. But for this game right here, that's kind of what I'm using. Uh, my kill streak loadout on the side there, or score streak loadout actually, is just simple. Um, I don't have much stuff unlocked yet. I think I'm level 31 or 2 or something like that at the point of making this video. So all I really have are a couple of uh, crappy score streaks. But right now I have the UAV, the Talon, and then the Wraps. So I do end up getting my Wraps in here. Um, I actually end up getting a few uplink scores myself. On this map it's very easy to. Um, you really can just run it through the top and just make sure you have boost. If you have a scuff controller you can boost through very easily on this map so that's something that uh is pretty easy to do although i don't know i would say this isn't the most impressive gameplay i do get a decent score i get some good kills um but it's something that i just thought was short entertaining and it's always fun to see raps and it's also very fun to get so this is round number two we start on the opposite end obviously i honestly don't know which end i prefer more um, I think I like scoring on the end that I just started on. I think it's easier to score on that end. Um, I do want to actually mention that I have the full DLC, obviously, and I've been playing it strictly just the DLC. So I get stuck on this map a lot more than any of the other maps. It seems like five out of, uh, you know, one out of every five games, I'm on a different map where every other game I'm on this map. So. It, people love this map. They keep voting it. It gets a little annoying after a while, though, because you're playing hard point, you're playing domination, kill confirm, team deathmatch, and then this all on this map. And it's like back to back, back to back. And the other three maps are actually really good. I really like the water park map. That's a fun map for me. I've done well on it. I may have some videos that I can make out of a couple of gameplays from that map if they're still in theater mode. I haven't been recording live or anything like that or recording while I played. I'm actually recording this from theater mode as you can tell. So that's kind of why uh, everything seems to lag a little bit. Uh, in the gameplay right now, I finally got my talent up. I was getting the airspace crowded message for a while because our team is pretty strong compared to the enemy team. Um, you'll notice at the end when I flash the scoreboard, there's a couple of guys that went, I don't know, like five and 22. So. They weren't the best team, which is kind of why we were able to do what we did. So, I went down right there. Um, do I, did I get my wraps yet? I want to say I did. Yeah, I'm getting the wraps kills right now. So, I already got my wraps deploy ship out. They're pretty deadly on this map. Uh, I've gotten them a couple times in hardpoint on this map, as well as domination. And it seems to be the most effective. It, It's very similar to how dogs worked on this map. So... Skyjacked is a great map for those score streaks. I'm thinking once I unlock the um, the Wraith, I'm going to throw that in in place of the Talon. And that should do some serious destruction on this map. 
If I can end up recycling those score streaks, I can probably get some really nice scores, uh, high scoring games for you guys. Um, although I'm not the type of person that always goes for that, there is a time when I'm in that mode, but it's not always about that. I like to just win the game and try to win it as fast as I can and get a good score winning. So that's the end of the map here. Got the scoreboard 27 and 4. I got a guy that went 20 and 3, but look at it at the bottom. You got 2 and 10, 2 and 22, 2 and 9. So a lot of new players to the game. Matchmaking system's kind of interesting. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Again, let me know if you want to see more of this. Leave a like rating and a comment. I will see you guys next time.